Okay, hello everyone. My name is Laquan Williams, and the DC Legends of Tomorrow are back with a brand new season. It's season seven. Um, season six basically ended uh, about a couple of months ago, so this turnaround to a new season obviously it was has been very quick. So I'm guessing they filmed these episodes pretty quickly, and that's what it's looking like. That's what it's obviously looking like happening. It's happening now, obviously. Um, season seven, episode one was, uh, came out today on the 13th of uh, October, 2021. And the season six was uh, over about, I think it was about, if I'm, I think I'm not mistaken, I think it was June, if I'm not mistaken, I reviewed uh, the whole season and everything and talked about it. And now they're back, uh, months later. So first episode is titled the, um, Bullet Blondes named after Ava Sharp and, uh, Sarah Lance, as they are stuck in 1920s uh, Odessa, Texas, specifically 1925, where we left off, obviously, last season, at the end of season six, the finale, uh, where, season finale, where they're stuck in, obviously, the 1920s. Odessa, Texas is in, uh, the place, and obviously, where, um, uh, well, I forgot her name now, on the show, Spooner. Spooner is, obviously, on um, her mo her mother. They're living with, they're staying in high uh, her, at her mom's house. Because remember, they traveled back into time in order to uh, obviously um, figure out this whole thing. Uh, um, obviously, last season with the fountain of Imperium, and they ran this obviously Spooner as a child and her mother, and she had to explain to her mother and break the timeline. Literally, I'm your daughter from the future, which obviously you're not supposed to do. Obviously, um, obviously, there's just been lots of issues with them traveling back into time, traveling forward, going to the past and future messing with the timelines and obviously screwing things up and they've been fixing them as well but we know that they can't do that essentially what happens uh, at the end of season six was somehow you destroy their wave rider which is their ship slash um teleportation device that allows them to chat time travel it's also like i said time traveling device as well um somebody destroyed it who looks like they were in another version of it as themselves so uh, and based off of what they're saying which is um they're supposed to be, uh, and when they have the 100th episode, it's supposed to be a big, huge thing. All of the past characters who used to be on the show are going to appear who are no longer on the show. Somebody um, who, who was missing that I saw out of everybody was Hawk Girl, but Hawk Man is there. So I thought that was kind of weird. They, they showed the photos um, online around here. Everybody's supposed to come back, you know, um, uh, Firestorm, um, Captain Cold and Heat Wave. Um, Damien Dar Dark's daughter, who is uh, Nora Dark, who is with, obviously, the Atom, played by Brandon, Brandon Routh, who plays, obviously, um, the Atom on the show. He's coming back, obviously. Um, Captain Cold and Heatway, Mick Roy, who is Dominique Purcell, and obviously um, Captain Cold, who's a, who, who obviously was on the show. So they're all supposed to come, come back on the 100th episode, so I'm assuming that basically what's going to happen is we'll figure out that Rip Hunter from the obviously came back from the past, and destroyed the Wave Rider currently because he probably felt that the team weren't living up to obviously their um, expectations and everything that they promised him he would they would do to well they would promise him that they would do which is preserve time not screw everything up and not get out of hand I think that he's gonna come back and tell them that you guys were supposed you guys were supposed to be doing better than this you were you become very sloppy that's why I destroyed the Wave the Wave Rider to teach you guys a lesson so basically you know, what I've seen is that obviously because of that. Um, some people are saying on comment sections on videos and stuff that um, less money and it be, will be put into the budget for this season. So that means it's going to be uh, less. Um, I would say, um, what's it called? There won't be a bit, there won't be a lot of obviously magic and spells and them using their powers obviously throughout the season because they're limited. But then when they need to use them, they will do it. But because they don't have the wave rider and all that technology on the ship and stuff and everything else to help them, they're. Um, they, you know, they weren't able to use their little teleportation devices to get around the, to, the, the time, uh, the, the time the little card uh, um, uh, carriers. Yeah, they weren't. They didn't have the watches. They weren't able to use the memory flashing guns on people. All that stuff's. Uh, the batteries are dead, um, so they can't teleport onto the ship because the ship was destroyed, and they can't get get into any other. Uh, uh, I guess you can say pocket dimensions to go to other places, except a pocket dimension. That's a, a, remin, a reminiscent, basically, it looks like John Constantine's house that they were staying at, that he gave the, the team, well, he gave, a, um, he gave obviously, Zuri a, a key that opens the door in, as, in um, uh, what's it called, in, um, in Spooner's mother's house that takes him to a pocket dimension that's reminiscent of his house, so that was weird. 
So basically what happens, what's happening is uh, they're stuck in 1925, they're trying to get out there, out of there, but they can't since they can't time travel, so they eventually find out that um, everybody in the town knows about what's going on and they're scared, so they have to figure out what way to obviously move past that. Nate decides to um, obviously um, think of a plan to become J. Edgar Hoover and to convince the sheriff that the um, black box that was from the... Um, the wave rider was obviously pro government property. He pretended to be him, stormed into the sheriff's office, convinced him and lied to him that that was the case, and he, they took it from him. So that they figure out a way. So they use this as a, they use um, them dressed up as a circus act to trick the whole town in order to cause a distraction, in order for everybody to be distracted, so they can get the time uh, the, the black box from the um, the sheriff's office, which obviously contained a time ca um, carrier watch that Ava Sharp said she had saved in there that allowed them to travel through different places so they actually could pr probably try to get, if not on the Wave Rider, back in time when they obviously could have get got into it in some, some obviously capacity. When they actually got the box and recovered it after the distraction for the whole town, um, the time courier was gone to watch, so they weren't able to travel through it anywhere because uh, Mick Rory took it weeks ago, apparently. He left a note in there that he went to go take it and go on a beer run watching the show and how they're pulling guns out and saying, you know, they're going to take, take, take the ship over and they don't, they, whoever took it from them obviously destroyed it. Basically, we will we'll, uh, obviously won't see what happens with that. Um, uh, but I'm guessing it's probably, um, since the time bandit is, uh, association or whatever they're called, they're gone. Um, I'm guessing it's probably, um, you know, the other time, because just like in low key, they have their time variance authority and whatnot. They had it there in this, this show too, but they only showed them for the first couple of seasons. Now it's not, that hasn't been the case. Rip Hunter, that whole storyline, they got rid of that years ago. So Rip Hunter is still alive. So him appearing with the rest of the other people on the show in the 100th episode, I don't know how that's going to work with them. Well, how they, uh, they're going to be able to get him and everybody else to help them somehow. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see because they're saying it's how basically Gideon's having flashbacks and they try to repair her memory and she starts talking about, well, she starts remembering everybody else on the show and that's how the memories start coming up of uh, everybody else and they have like flashbacks. So we're going to see a bunch of scenes that w were shot obviously later on this, uh, well, earlier this year, but are supposed to be old, uh, obviously memories of what happened you know, years ago with the other people on the ship and obviously other characters such as Hawkman, Firestorm, you know, um, the Atom, Nora Dark, Captain Cold, and Heatwave, they're all supposed to be coming back. So basically on here, this episode we saw obviously that once they uh, figured out that they were, they were stuck still there, 1925, the whole entire team obviously still try to figure out a way to figure out how to get um, themselves back. Once they found out that J. Edgar Hoover was on to them, um, he basically, because what happens is Nate, um, Nate just decided to impersonate him after they took, they took the box out of the sheriff's office. Eventually he found out by looking at his paper, he saw that J. Edgar Hoover's picture was way more different than, than Nate, who he met in person. So he called the FBI, told them that he, that he was, um, they were, there was someone impersonating J. Edgar Hoover down, down here in Odessa, Texas, and you need to get down here immediately. And they actually did. Um, very fast, um, so I don't know how that worked out. So they eventually found out, obviously, that Nate and them were um, behind it. They suspected they they were bank robbers, and they eventually said, "Well, in order for us to distract him and to figure out a way to get him to not f keep following um, Spooner's mom and her, and her around and coming to her house to make them think they're fugitives, they decided to make up a fake bank robbery gang and they're gonna rob banks and stuff." And they, so they did. They brought this little, um, obviously, bank, and um, their supposed name is supposed to be the quote-unquote Bullet Blondes, is what, um, obviously, Sarah Lance and, obviously, um, uh, Ava Sharp are supposed to be called the Bullet Blondes. They walked into the bank, pulled guns out on the guys in there, shot in the air, and they stole $93.25, which is the exact amount of money they needed to get from... Uh, Odessa, Texas to New York City because in New York City, that's where uh, Matt Ryan, who played John Constantine, his character, his new character, Dr. Um, Gwen Davies, he's supposed to be there and he's th he's supposed to be able to help them out, obviously, with the time traveling situation that they're going with because Ava Sharp found a time bureau um, manual book in there that uh, had a bunch of stuff in there 
And if she f was able to find his name in there and say that he he can he knows all about time traveling and whatnot, so they have to go to New York City to find him. So that's why they're they're gonna have to get the ticket plane, the excuse me, the bus, um, the train tickets to obviously get there. So obviously that's what's going on. And eventually they run, uh, run into a roadblock. At the end, um, Azra's, um, excuse me, um, uh, Azra doesn't stay, but I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um, as Azra doesn't stay she, um, with Spooner, but Spooner wants to stay with her mom. But eventually what happens um, at the end is obviously um, Gideon randomly just comes out of nowhere, um, obviously, and is resurrected into obviously a human form. Um, how they kind of did it was weird because they were th talking about her and saying how they missed her and stuff. And next thing you know, she appears in human form and then the show kind of ends. I thought it was kind of random at the end of the episode just to kind of throw it in. They're like, oh, hey, Gideon's back now just at the, at the end of the episode. But going back to the um, obviously the uh, roadblock situation, J. Edgar Hoover found them after they robbed the bank immediately, set up a little roadblock with him and another guy. They ran through the roadblock. It was just a big, like, like, like a little uh, po uh, fence post, like, in the way to keep them from getting out it was nothing too big it's 19 the 1925 so they didn't have a huge big uh, roadblock set up to keep them from getting away like they would if it was 2021 or something they ran past them, them. he shot at them they drove past him he fell on the, he, he jumped on the roof he, he, he they stopped the car nate was driving and then he fell off the hood jager who were found the floor they thought he was dead and then he pulled his gun out and he said he never misses he shot Nate. Nate used his powers to turn into steel. Once he did that, the bullet that Jagger Hoover shot at Nate bounced off his his actual head and hit Jagger Hoover straight in the head, and he died. So now Jagger Hoover's dead. So they have to get rid of his body. So Gary is told by Ava Sharp to eat him because remember Gary is a shape shifting alien, but he obviously is looking like he can present himself in a human form at all times because he can because he's like a hybrid and obviously Ava Sharp's main assistant when she was at the time bureau and she was the, the uh, super the head boss there so she so he eats Jagger Hoover and that's basically it they fi figure out that their their next move is for them to obviously go to New York and obviously find the doctor uh, excuse me slash professor Dr. Gwen Davies who is now played by Matt Ryan who played John Constantine on the show because he can help them figure out some way to time travel without they're obviously uh, without them obviously having the ability to have their wave rider to help them so he's going to help them figure it out somehow he's smart he's a genius he probably has his own time uh, machine slash teleportation device that he's created himself or one that he can work with in a theory that can that, that can help them build it in order for them to get obviously out of 1925 period but now they're on to new york so in the second episode next week it says that this is the synopsis for it, or the summary. It says that it's called The Need for Speed. This is next week on Wednesday, next week. It says um, on October 20th, next week, the legends, um, co while the legends contemplate how to get to New York City, Bayrod discovers that Jagger Hoover has, um, he has um, train tickets to DC, but when Zuri and s is stuck without the internet, she is forced to uh, take a digital detox and she becomes obsessed with figuring out who blew up the Wave Rider. She stays stuck in that pocket dimension that is uh, reminiscent. Obviously, it looks like John Constantine's house, but it's not really. Um, it's sp supposed to be a pocket dimension in hell. When they open up the front door to his um, house, it was a big, huge wall of flames around it. And Nate was scared. He's like, what's going on? Why are there flames everywhere? And he closed the door. He said, well, he said, whoa, because he was like, what's going on? So basically, um, Sarah Lance asked um, Gary, why is this like this, John? Because he said, he, Gary told her that, that um, this is, she asked, is this a pocket dimension in hell? And she, he said, yes, it is. It's a way for John, Con John Constantine to get away from everything. And he decided to do that. Um, I guess, I don't know, it's somehow it's, it's weird. It makes no sense why he would do that. But it looks like he has the key. The key that he gave Zuri is basically something he kept around him, with him at all times. So basically, when he was not able to get to his house, he puts the key, the, the key, in the obviously in the door, and and obviously he can basically f imagine himself. He's he goes into the pocket dimension that looks like his house to like be a, a calm place to where he goes away from everybody. Because what happens is obviously when they were in Spooner's mother's house, Jager Hoover came in through the door. He opened the closet, but but before he was able to get into the closet, they opened the door with the key. Um, Bayrod told Zuri 
that key that John Constantine gave you might actually help us. And he actually was, of course, right. He guessed it. So I'm guessing that key that he, Zuri uh, got from him, um, John Constantine, and she told him that he told her to keep it for safekeeping. I guess they he can they can use that key anywhere in the world to basically go into a pocket dimension to save them and to hide. So that's basically what it's looking like. Because it's obviously magic, obviously. Because there's no re reason for it to be uh, linked to, to um, uh, Spooner's mother's house because they have no link there except Spooner. The rest of the team does not. And of course, John Constantine doesn't either. So it's basically kind of like a pot. It's a pocket dimension. They can use that key anywhere in the world to you, uh, w once you put the key in the door to obviously find a way to hide inside the actual door. So when J. Edgar Hoover opened the door, he's to the closet. He didn't see the team. He saw a closet full of clothes, obviously, and they were on the other side in a pocket dimension away from him and everything. So that's basically what's going on. Um, it's looking like, um, well, this season's a little shorter than the last one. Season six was 15 episodes. This season is 13. That's why I looked up a couple days ago on their Wikipedia page just to see what, what um, uh, exactly what was going on. That's basically what's going on. We'll see what happens, obviously, with the rest of the show as it goes forward. They kind of explain how the struggle on right here on uh, what is this um, cinema blend? Yeah, they said that it's gonna be a struggle for Gideon now that she's obviously a human again, but this time she's a human fully. She can't. She's not gonna be an AI system. Probably until the end of the show, towards the end, she'll be able to be restored back to her regular self. But we'll see what happens. It felt obviously very reminiscent of the second Terminator movie, which was Judgment Day, when Arnold Schwarzenegger just appeared out of nowhere with no clothes on and obviously looked very, like, a, you know, um, out of place, Gideon is, but she's not an alien now. She's a, a human being, but she was obviously an AI system, but now she's a full-on human being regularly. They had in the past, but um, obviously her do that in the past and ep in other episodes, but now she's going to be like that for, like, pretty much the, this, this whole season probably to like the last couple episodes but we'll see what happens um as far as how the show was and stuff it was okay like i said um they had no plans really to do anything and it was just um they were just really sloppy how they kept doing they just kept getting caught over and over again the sheriff knew that they had lied the town knew what was going on but they had to trick them then obviously the, the um, nate lied about being jagger hoover the jagger hoover pops up out of nowhere the real one he's like oh who's impersonating me so now they killed him and now obviously that screws up the timeline so that they're gonna have, they had no way to obviously fix that because they can't travel through time again so because of that so i have no idea what's going to happen going forward but um uh, yeah they were like literally just like we have no plan we're just going to wing it and they just kept you know lying and they got caught and they had to lie again so they had to lie uh, um pile on the lies in order for them to be safe but obviously that didn't work out very well so now they're basically on the run but nobody knows what happened to Jagger Hoover because nobody saw what happened to him being, as far as him being killed and Gary getting rid of his body and eating it. On the next episode, which is next week, uh, they're supposed to be going on a train to get to New York City. But it looks like Nate here is captured by Al Capone's guys. So now they're going to go up against Al Capone and his friends, uh, well, his, um, uh, excuse me, his henchmen, obviously gang gangsters. Um on the train that they go on that um nate gets captured by them they have to get him out of there while getting back on the train somehow to get to new york city so it's a, gonna be a, tra a train chase type of scene scenario going on next week um but we'll see what happens though like i said on with the show um it's not what it used to be they focused way too much on comedy and that's pretty much why the re reason the show hasn't been taken seriously the last couple of years you could obviously see that with the ratings dipping down um, if the show is ending this season, I would not be surprised if they say something probably towards the last couple episodes like show is going to be over. This is it. If they do something like that, surprisingly, I wouldn't doubt it. If the show is not going to be last season or they could announce it when the actual season's over, if they decided this was the last one. But my suspicions, uh, that's, some of my, that's what, what some of my suspicions. Lastly, I think that obviously the other possibility is this uh the eighth season which will be the next one will be the last one it'll be limited episodes it'll be limited episode order of production as if uh, this one's 13 it'll probably end up being 10 or they might do it um cut it down to eight we'll see what happens but like i said um you know the show used to be very funny obviously a couple of years ago and uh especially specifically the first couple of seasons because the villains obviously 
were much more serious. You know, Damien Dark, Vandal Savage was the first one. He was no joke. He was like a take no prisoner guy. He'll destroy anybody in his way. And he was not to be messed with. Damien Dark was the same way as well. And he, they were both were, were taken very seriously. And because of that, the overall tone and the message of the show was way more focused on them stopping them because these guys are very dangerous and very powerful. Last season when they had, obviously, Bishop, this guy was a complete joke. And I was just like, this this show's gone straight down the drain. The, the villain is a bad guy, but he's smart and witty and he's funny. He's joking. And he's singing and dancing every five seconds like I'm watching a Disney Channel movie. I'm like, is this supposed to be a show with superheroes who are in their mid-30s to early 40s? Or is this a, a show for kids? Like, what's going on here? Complete and total joke. They basically try to make it become the um, Guardians of the Galaxy of the Arrowverse. The show that's going to be the light-hearted, comedic, um, I would say, um, not who well, has comedic banter, but the comedic relief. Because Green Arrow, The Flash, it was not like this at all. Even Black Lightning. They had funny moments with the overall sh meaning of the show and the tone was way more serious with with, the, with how they presented it. It was first couple episodes, Oliver Queen is snapping necks and shooting arrows at people, and there was no jokes or no comedy at all like that. There was, um, as far as like every episode, like or it's like the overall main theme. Yes, there was funny moments and stuff, but that what the show was mostly serious and dark and moody. Obviously, how they had it for you presented because obviously. You know, Oliver Queen's literally going around shooting arrows into people, snapping people's necks, beating up bad guys, getting shot at, get, getting killed, stabbed, dying, coming back to life, obviously. And The Flash was like the first couple of seasons as well. And, you know, they've, they've kind of gone back to it a little bit, a little later now, because they since they've kind of put a, little, a lot more comedy into those shows. But that's basically what's going on with that. We'll see what happens. But like I said, you guys, the case, I'm still going to see the show until the end, obviously, because I do that with every show I watch. Even when uh, some seasons have not been fun as the previous ones, I see the whole entire show until the end. I've been watching this show since it's obviously first came out years, you know, it's about seven, eight years ago. And I'm still going to watch the rest of it until it's over, yeah, obviously, because I don't want to fall behind. I never do that with shows. Even though that's the case, you know, you're like, dang, I don't want to watch it anymore. I still watch until the end just to make sure I'm not behind. So I don't have to run around and say, let me watch like three, four seasons of what I missed so I can pick up back up what, what I, where I was at and left off. Because that takes a long time, obviously, to watch those three, four, five seasons or whatever in a couple of days, you know, because sometimes you're just like watching other stuff. You're like, I don't want to kind of don't want to do it or you're kind of not thinking about it. Maybe you want to do something else, obviously, but we'll see what happens. But um, that's what's going to happen. Um, show is going to be based on based in the, the basically in the 1920s. Um, that's what's going to happen. As far as visual and special effects goes, so people are saying that it's going to be a limited budget, so we won't see much of that. As far as um, them getting back to the um, future, we probably won't see anything probably till about the 8th or ninth seat episode. They might be able to time travel in a couple places, but as far as them getting back to 2021, probably won't see that happening until probably about towards the end of this, this season, which is um, season 7, and there's 13 episodes, probably like about 11 or 12 is when they will get back to it. Don't know who's gonna be the, 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 who will be the bad guy, the bad guy slash villain in this series, but mostly they're fighting other people so based off of what they're doing right now they just went up against Jagger Hoover next episode they're going up against um who um Al Capone I'm guessing and if you continue they might be going against Bonnie and Clyde next and some other bank robbers some type of gangsters I have no idea we'll see what happens obviously um obviously and what wars are going on around that time because remember they're still in the United States obviously so we'll see what happens with that. Um, 1925, that's a couple of years from, uh, from World War One, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see what happens, obviously, but I don't know. And what the what, the, what will be the effects of a ha what happened because of Nate uh, accidentally killing J. Edgar Hoover? Well, they do the timeline. We'll see about that. But that's basically um, it. That's obviously my, this video episode was kind of okay um but um like i said before just the, the 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 thrill of the show and the entertainment value of it is not what it used to be it's kind of it's just basically okay it's not what it used to be but i'm still gonna keep watching it to the end obviously if this is the last season or if next season which will be season eight will be the last season so we'll see what happens with that and that's basically it and that's all i have to say in my video um thank you for watching and let me know what you have to think about it obviously um, if you haven't watched the show for a while, or if you're not, you stop, or if you actually have not watched it at all, what do you think about? It? Obviously, 
uh, what I said, which was, um, could this possibly be the last season, or if it will eat season A be the last season, the next one, but it will be limited, uh, the episodes will be limited, obviously, to about 8 or to 10, based, based off of, uh, the money for issues, the budget, obviously, in production, obviously, what, the, what they're going to put into the show. We'll see what happens, though, I don't know, but it's, it's just, uh, a guess, and I don't know, but, um, uh, on the 100th episode, like I said, other characters on the show will be coming back. Um, they showed that, um, I've seen that in a couple episodes. Um, I'm gonna sh show it right here. I saw it right here, but we'll see what happens, though. Like I said, somebody who was missing that I noticed in the photos was, um, Hawk Girl. Where, where is it at? I have it right here. It, I showed everybody. Here we go. No, this is not it. Um... Well, here's Rip Hunter back with um, Brandon Routh, who, Routh, who plays on um, the Adam on the show. So here is everybody that's supposed to be coming back. Let's, um, so basically, um, returning cast is supposed to be. Um, well, they already showed everybody. They said Dominic Purcell is supposed to be back as Heat Wave. I don't know how that's gonna happen, um, and w how many episodes he's gonna be on besides the one hundredth episode, but. That's what they said is going to happen, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. He's supposed to be back. Here's everybody. So as you can see here, who, who, who the people who are no longer on the show is um, obviously right here. Uh, he, uh, he, um, Dr. Martin Stein, obviously, other half of Firestorm. Um, so and here's basically everybody coming back. Um, Let's see, um, Rip Hunter's coming back, Dr. Martin Stein, Firestorm, uh, Hawkman, Nora Dark, Ray Palmer, and that'll be it. And I remember the Adam, who was supposed to be played by another character besides Ray Palmer, was supposed to be on the show. They had him in the future, but they never put him on the show to actually replace him as the Adam. Um, and obviously, Captain Cold is right here. Uh, don't see Heat Wave, but we'll see what happens, but... As far as them all being there together, and what we'll, we'll see, obviously, obviously, what happens with that, how is that going to work out with them in the 100th episode? Um, I don't know. Um, it says that it was previously reported that Wentworth, Wentworth Miller would reprise his role for Captain Cole for the 100th milestone episode. Now we know he won't be the only one making his way back to the show. Yeah. So we'll basically see what happens with that. It's cool to see everybody, but like I said. So I know who's missing is obviously Hawk Girl, but Hawk Man's right there. Oh, and um, uh, Vixen is not there. I noticed that she's not there. That's the only person I can think of that who's not there anymore. And obviously, um, Heat Wave, but they said uh, Dominique Purcell is supposed to come back as Heat Wave, so I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see because you can't have Captain Cold without Heat Wave because they were partners, obviously, right around here being obviously the bad guys that they are stealing and obviously terrorizing people so that's what's gonna happen on the 100th episode everybody who basically was on the show previously is going to be coming back now um for that 100th milestone episode except obviously john constantine who's not here matt ryan will be playing dr gwen davies so he's playing different characters so we won't be seeing that character anymore because hbo max owns the rights to that character now there's going to be a, a show made by jj abrams it is bad robot production movie company movie production company um, that is going to have a dark, uh, a very gritty John Constantine show and he's supposed to be played by a black guy. Don't know who that is and I haven't heard nothing about that, but we'll see what happens. But because of that, that's why Matt Ryan's no longer playing John Constantine on this show. Because HBO is not is taking that, uh, obviously, to their uh, streaming service, which is HBO Max. HBO Max. So you don't see Amir Isles, like I said, Hawkgirl's not here, but Hawkman is right here next to Gary. And we don't see Dominique Purcell as Heat Wave, and we do not see Vixen on the show. That's basically it. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think anybody else is missing. Rip Hunter is right here. Glad to see him back. And that's basically it. I would say Damian Dark, but he's a bad guy. They said he's supposed to come back somehow. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but he's supposed to come back somehow. I don't know if they said in other shows of uh, making appearances. I don't think it'll be on The Flash. He was obviously mostly on Hair and Green Arrow, so he'll probably be on here since Green Arrow's not coming back. We'll see what happens with that, and that'll basically be it. Um, and that's the end of my video. Let's, just let me know what you think about this, obviously. It's pretty cool to see, obviously, these people back, but it's only going to be for one episode, so it's weird that they're doing this, but um, 
you know, um, we'll see what ha what happens, obviously. And what happened to Dixon? Where's Hawk Girl? But Hawk Man's back. Kind of weird. So, like I said, so we'll see what happens with that. Because Hawk Girl and Hawk Man were a package deal as partners. And they were together, obviously, being married. Um, just like Captain Cold and Heat Wave were a package. It's two, the two of them together, obviously, as the dynamic duo of bad guys. You know, so we'll who turned, obviously, to be heroes. And, you know, later on, when they were on the show... You know, anti Harris as well, but that's what happened. So that's basically it. That's the end of my video. Thank you again for watching, and that's all I have to say about this. Um, thanks again. Bye.